Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian man has mystified mankind for centuries. The position of his circle does not match the position of his square in the normal way of squaring the circle. By raising the square so that its center is at the navel, though, many mysteries are resolved. Robert Edward Grant has intuited that perhaps that outer circle is mimicking the sun's diameter of 8,640 miles times 100, for it measures 8.64 inches on the actual document. Taking this one step further, if one inscribes a circle within the da Vinci square, it seems to match Saturn's diameter almost perfectly at 7.13 inches. Taking this concept further, he decided to inscribe circles within squares, within circles, within squares, to see if there was a match for the other planetary bodies in our solar system. The mathematics is quite simple. Starting with the outer 8.64 inch circle, divide by root 2 and that will give us the inscribed green square and the next pink circle within it at 6.11. Divide by root 2 again, and that gives us 4.32 for the next inscribed circles and squares, and so on, giving us all the values we need to correlate to the planets. Starting at da Vinci's square at 7.13, we do the same thing. Divide by root 2 over and over again, and it gives us all these values that we can then compare. These ratios of our family of planets has been attempted before, of course, by Kepler and others, but never quite in this way. The Sun's diameter is a perfect match at 8.64 inches. Jupiter is at a different octave, but still at the 8.64. Saturn comes in at 98.5% accurate. Uranus is 97% accuracy. Neptune is coming in at 99.4%, almost perfect. Mars is about 97.5% accurate. Mercury 98.1. The Moon is a perfect 100% accuracy and Pluto comes in at 97.4. So everything is looking extraordinarily close. But at this point, something strange happens. Venus, goddess of love, is unpredictable. She does not match any of the circles or squares. She comes in at 7.52 inches diameter. But if we look at the inscribed square inside da Vinci's circle, which is 6.11 inches, something extraordinary becomes apparent. If we take the area of this square and divide it by the area of the Venus circle, we get a very extraordinary number, 0 0.841 which happens to be one of the most important trigonometric functions, sine 1, in radians, a ratio that basically defines radian measurement. And now we come home, Earth. And she doesn't seem to fit the pattern either, but does she? We could draw a circle around her, but since Venus gave us an interesting solution by comparing her circle with a square, let's draw a square around Earth and compare her again to Venus. The Earth square comes in, of course, at 7.92 inches, matching her diameter of 7,920 miles. So let's bring in the Venus circle again and compare. She is 7.52 inches. Let's do what we did before, except this time we're going to divide the area of Earth's square by the area of Venus's circle. And the stunning result is the square root of 2 to 99.9% accuracy. Earth and Venus in a beautiful mathematical dance giving us the very code to solve this entire conundrum.